What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of E4 of the Rising of the Shield Hero Season 3. This is episode 9, and with me, as always, I have Louis Big. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've really done a lot, uh, you know, a lot of work in this episode. I, I would say it's like one of their best yeah. work they've done ever since, I think, ever since season one, because I haven't even seen animation this good uh, s- since back at the end end of the first season, because they, they really definitely put a lot of work in, you know, into this final fight against the Emperor Dragon. Yeah, there were definitely some pretty impressive uh, f- um, sequences with the animation. Um, so, yeah, I-, I was pretty impressed by most of what I saw in the episode, for sure. Uh, it-, it definitely reminded me of some of this, of what they did in the beginning of Season 3 when they ha- they uh, were in the tournament. Uh, it-, it looked about as good as that. I mean, if not, you know, definitely some and somewhat better with some- certain sequences. Um, so, yeah, I was pretty impressed by what, what they've done. I mean... Uh, it's it's it definitely I would say no question at this point looks overall looks better than season two. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm still disappointed over the fact that we only have like at least uh, three more three or four more episodes left of this season. I mean, I, I kind of wish yeah. it could be a little bit longer, but I mean, I mean, so far, like, you know, season three is already a, a much better, better improvement over season one. Sure, I mean, you know, there, there is... You mean season two? Uh, yeah, season two. I mean, uh, well, of course, th- there is the fact that the Emperor Dragon sequences d- do have a lot of CG in them, uh, which, I mean, but they kind of they kind of worked around it uh, in a good way, adding, like, you know, with, you know, the, the way they, they did the lighting for the Emperor Dragon as well as the animation quality for, uh, you know, for the character movements. Yeah. I mean, you could kind of ignore the CG because of how decent, like the uh, the the movement looked and uh, how the fluidity of the animation. Uh, aside from just you know, and the CG didn't look that bad. I I feel like the worst it looked was when uh, Galleon was transformer transforming to into the Emperor Dragon, and he was just like the slightly bigger version of Galleon, like the the red dragon. Yeah, uh, I I didn't think that looked too good, but. Uh, they actually have have him look like that in the epi- in this episode, and he's uh, he's actually hand drawn. So, yeah. Uh, so um, so the fight itself. Uh, well, the, the 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 beginning of the episode shows off that um, Atla, the the sister tiger, uh, she uses this special power to to at least uh, incapacitate the emperor dragon for a moment, al- allowing uh, now Fumini this to escape from the cave. Or actually, not really escape. They just. Uh, ca- cause a flooding in the cave, which uh, they end up outside of it soon after that. Um, eventually, they end up uh, regrouping, and then, uh, of course, um, we-, we see a flashback of uh, the the demi-human girl, I think her name is Windia, uh, revealing mm-hmm. Naofumi about how she was raised by the dragon. So, she was actually adopted by uh, uh, by this, uh, this dragon after her father was, uh, I-, I guess, was dying uh, from an uh, I guess from a, an attack from I, I would say like they didn't really show it, but it seems like her her, fa- her father was actually um, in, injured from like some some sort of raid uh, from either bandits or maybe some uh, people from the kingdom. It's not really clear how it happened, but it just shows like you know um, uh, uh, like Wendy's time being raised by this uh, this dragon. She you know she called her father at the time. Yeah. Um... Which makes sense because I never really thought that that was supposed to be like her biological father because she didn't look like she was like half dragon or anything like that. Um, so it kind of made sense that 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 she's like part human and part something else. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it, it just shows the dragon taking care of her, and uh, that you know her and her and the dragon had you know the father daughter relationship. Yeah. Um, but she finds one day that the. Uh, there's this one scale the dragon has, I think it's like an upside down scale or something. Uh, and she like, she touches it and the dragon doesn't like that. And she, uh, that that's how she figures out the emperor dragon's like weak point. Yeah. So she, she, um, she tells now for me this, uh, while they concoct the plan, how to nu- lure the dragon out. So <clears throat> now for me uses his, uh, shield to lure the dragon out. So the party can, at least keep the dragon busy while they uh, locate the weakness. Uh, at the same time, Atla and Fall are um, 
are, are out somewhere out in the forest. Uh, I, I guess, like, uh, initially, like, Naofumi tells him to uh, stay out of the fight uh, until, like, mm-hmm. Atla's called, like, as a last resort, because he, like, Naofumi notices how powerful Atla is. Uh, but At- Atla, um, you know, ends up ignoring uh, Naofumi's uh, orders and decides to just char- charge in and, you know, and uh, I-, I guess incapacitate the dragon once again for uh, Naofumi and the others to take it down for good. Yeah, she she apparently wants to be kind of like Raftalia and that she's like Naofumi's shield or something mm-hmm. or like his protector. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm also surprised in how like how skilled or more powerful that Atla is. I mean, you could say it's she has. I mean, she's obviously like you know you could speculate that she's related to you know to to the former king of the land. Uh, I mean, it's it's hard to tell because we don't know much about uh, her you know her family ties you know to this guy. But you know, it, it's possible that you know she has some amount of powerful ability you know relating her to her family bloodline. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that ended up being the case that she was, that she was somehow related to the king. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, because she, yeah, I mean, her being able to just take down the dragon like that makes me wonder, like how, like how powerful she is and why she's this powerful. Yeah. So you know, her, her, uh, well, uh, with her and everybody else's help, along with Raptalia, they managed to take down uh, the emperor dragon and uh, and rescue both uh, Philo and the real Galleon. Uh, uh, from from the Emperor Dragon's uh, core. Uh, so w- once the Emperor Dragon gets defeated, it it ends up being absorbed into Naofumi's shield once again. And of course, the consciousness of the Emperor Dragon is still alive within Naofumi's shield. So it's so yeah. So so soon after that, like Windia, of course, sa- says says her last uh, goodbyes to her well quote unquote father. And then um, Ren, uh, it also gives uh, closure to Ren as well because he, you know, he played a part uh, of, uh, I guess you could say, killing like you know, um, uh, Windia's father in the first place. But it turns out it was uh, it was actually somewhat of a, of a misunderstanding because Ren was convinced by the villagers at the time to to kill this dragon because uh, they wanted to uh, obtain its treasure of sorts. Yeah, and of course now Fumi blames the villagers for, for their for what they did, and you know and leaves them. Uh, but the yeah, like you said, Gal, uh, the Emperor Dragon's consciousness is still like in his shield, right? Or I guess it's, it's it's also technically I guess in Galleon, or we can talk no, to actually, him. Actually, so or, okay, or was it Galleon so, or his shield? So the Emperor Dragon's consciousness is still in now Fumi's shield, but um, Windia's father th- father is of course the dragon. His consciousness is actually in Galleon now. So Galleon is yeah. like so. So I guess I guess you could say Galleon is you know like telepathically communicating with Naofumi that uh, his that you know that the old dragon's soul now resides in Galleon's body, but tells him not to reveal the truth to Windia. You know, I, I guess for her sake. Um, and also the, uh, they they also find out that. Uh, get, you know, Galleon also still has Philo's experience points, while Philo's like levels are, are, you know, have been taken away from her, you know, during that whole event. Yeah, um, yeah. So like, I I guess that's the end of this. Like, I, I don't know if you call it like a story arc, um, the Emperor Dragon arc, um, but I guess now that they would have to move on to. Uh, the uh the bow hero right yeah that i mean we I, haven't seen any of him at all him at all yeah. this season so far i mean i i did i did like this uh, episode I, I actually i think this is a decent arc it started off a bit slow at first but then like it got a little bit interesting the more it went along not to mention like, like i said this this uh, story arc act actually does uh, help redeem uh ran the sword hero uh to an extent uh to the point where mm-hmm. like you know he's you know he he's a much more likable character, uh, and, you know as so far as right now I guess I mean uh, yeah. you you could say you know it's uh it more it's more or less forgiven uh for what Ren did uh to this dragon and of course Wendy also forgives him for uh what he did uh, over this whole misunderstanding uh, of the situation. Yeah, um, 
I mean, it it definitely seems like that was that they were mostly trying to redeem Ren with the story arc too. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I kind of wonder what the amount of episodes we have left. Like, I mean, are they are they gonna even attempt to try to redeem it- Itsuki in some way, or like, I mean, are they gonna have that? Um, I, think it, I, I mean, show what what mind is up to. Um, I think it uh, the best they can do uh, for this next story arc is to help redeem Itsuki. Um, I don't know about Modiyasu. I think he's, I don't know. You see, it's it's hard to tell with Modiyasu because you know he's, I you could say he's a bit mentally broken after what happened with mine, and his uh, his weird obsession with Philo, uh, to such an obsessive obsessive extent. It just I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, um, I thought it was a pretty good episode though. I mean, the animation definitely took a step up, and it. It's probably the best I've seen from Shield Hero. Um, I mean, here's hoping they can do something like that for the for the remaining episodes. Um, but yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about it though. I don't know if you have anything else to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was like I said, it was it was a good episode. Uh, I definitely uh, this episode alone, I think, um, you know, hel- helps like I guess hands down ma- makes it a better season than season season two was. I mean, season two, I mean, they tried to do something with it but it didn't really go anywhere in terms of like trying to introduce like a new like a new world that not who many others could explore um however like it it was it was bogged down with the whole you know spirit tortoise or how, how the spirit tortoise was you know presented in such a horrendous manner not to mention you know the actual villain at the time was not wasn't really memorable uh to be honest yeah, I mean, not only that, but it just felt like they rushed through everything. Yeah. Like, there was, like, so many things that were cut out. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, here, I'm sure there were th- there are things that are still being cut out, but it doesn't feel like they're rushing nearly as much as they did in Season 2. Yeah. So, I mean, for the next set of episodes, yeah, I, I, I'm I, guessing, like, uh, they're going to de- deal with uh, it- Itsuki uh, for the next story arc. Uh, for, that, yeah. for that whole, like, um, what was it, that great phoenix uh thing that they keep um hinting at like since the start of the season they're they're obviously not going to get to that possibly until like maybe the next season yeah they'll more than likely have it end on some kind of a cliffhanger with that um but yeah guys so that all being said until next time we will see you all later